Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LG Institute of Physiotherapy. Today I am going to talk about ICU that is Intensive Care Unit. It is a part of syllabus for final year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is Physiotherapy in Cardiopulmonary Conditions. Let's see what is the Intensive Care Unit. An ICU is an area set aside for the care of patients who are either critically ill or who are in danger of becoming so if deprived of continuous care and attention. It may undergo varieties of name according to its specific purpose and the degree of dependency of the patient. For example, RCU which is known as renal care unit where chronic renal disease patients are treated, then CCU coronary care unit, SCBU that is special care baby unit, HDU high dependency unit, ITU intensive therapy unit, CSU that is cardiac surgery units. So let's see the ICU logistic. How a ICU should be there? An ICU requires space, person and equipment. Nursing staff should be one nurse per one patient. 4 to 10 beds in one ICU is enough. Further requirement of staff from biochemistry, hematology, pictorology, physiotherapy, pharmacy, radiology, dietitian, medical person and other general staff is also included. Medicine and surgical staff. There are varieties of medicine such as neurology, cardiology and the surgery also along with it. So specific treatment according to the person's disease and specific treatment required we can add on any medical and surgical staff into the ICU. But a one that is intensivist either a physician, surgeon or anesthetist is the must person to be added in ICU because he is the one who take care of, as a, of a patient as a whole as well as it connects all the team members together. Next is the role of physiotherapy in ICU. The role of physiotherapy in all ICU is very vital. As patient in ICU can often do little or nothing and prone to disorders of immobility such as hypostatic pneumonia, muscle wasting, limb contracture and pressure sores. Frequently these patients are at poor nutritional state. All such problems are usually multiplied by infection, especially the intubated patients. When, whenever we come across an intubated patient, they are very prone to get chest infection. So it is often the case that good chest physiotherapy can prevent or treat chest complications without much use of antibiotics. So this is how the role of physiotherapist is very vital in ICU. But it has a two type of role that is individual role as well as a team role. So as an individual, the therapist will need to be competent in handling some of the equipments such as suction, ambu bag, the nebulizer, etc. and should be able to interpret and analyze the recorded data for example of ECG, blood pressure or any kind of investigations relevant to her assessment before treatment to the patient. The role of physiotherapist is the care of the patient as a whole which will include his respiratory care as well as his postural care. By maintenance of full joint mobility, muscle extensibility and correct positioning wherever possible. As a team, as we know it is a very bad feeling for any patient to be in ICU for longer period of time because of continuous hearing of beeping noise from all the instruments coming as well as some of the time patient also cannot be able to express himself or his pain because of endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube inside him. So we need to provide as comfortable as possible to the patient as a part of a team member as well as we need to coordinate and cooperate with all the team members like nursing staff, medical officer, intensivist and other staff like medical and general surgery staff. We need to make coordination with them for betterment of recovery of patient. Which will include a patient monitoring. The requirement of ICU is to assess the status of patients quickly and accurately and to follow their progress for better or worse. This is accomplished as follow by electronic monitoring like ECG, pressure, temperature, EEG, etc. In my next video tutorial, we are going to discuss each of these in detail. 
The bedside monitors are commonly used. Latest ones contain microprocessors to store data for further recall and examination to reduce some of the paperwork by nursing staff and can give more attention to the patient directly. Many ICUs have central station where staff can observe all beds while performing administrative tasks, for example, which is shown here in a figure. Here are the medical staff and which are monitoring all the data from one single screen of all the patients admitted in single ICU. So here are the references. Thank you so much.